What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Asmin Gold, and today I figured I'd show you guys how to get up to a thousand extra gears and resources every single day in about a half hour's time. Now, the main reason why I think that a lot of people would want to do this is to buy more equipment to equip to their ships in their shipyard, so whenever you send your ship out on a mission, it doesn't sink, but don't worry, it will anyway. Kind of leaves you with two options, though. Option one, don't do the shipyard. Seems reasonable. Seems like a good idea. Option two, though, buy one of these every single day and make sure that you 100% every single mission so you don't end up having to make a new submarine because you thought 95% was good enough. It's not, okay? And I hope you guys are gluttons for punishment and you like option two because that's what this video is about. Now, it's real simple how to do this, right? Uh, there's going to be there's six rares that we're going to be killing. Three of them I've already showed you guys. And the other three are at the Dark Portal. Now, they're actually pretty difficult to kill. And so if you uh, kind of are not able to do this by yourself, and there are a lot of classes so I don't think even could do this in best in slot gear. But uh, if, if that's the case with you, uh, you can probably just find a group for them in the pre-made group finder. There's a number of them. And there's three uh, behind a Dark Portal here here and uh, they also drop uh, like toys and stuff like that and uh, you know baleful items but obviously the main reason uh, you know I'm making this video is to show you guys for the gears and resources because the toys don't really sell that well and um, even the pets from the high mall rares don't really sell that well anymore either and so that's where the second rare is and there's a third one over here now uh, for my warrior uh, there's one of them and he's a re I mean he's a real cock in the ass all right and sometimes he even kills me now but usually I, I can get him under control and um, you know it's not really too big of a deal but my warrior is like six uh, well, no, 727 something like that and so he's got good gear and um and, you know second wind everything like that so unless you're like a tank you're probably going to have a little bit of trouble with this unless you're a hunter or something like that either and so that's where the three of them are and so what i figured i'd do is i'd kill all three of them for you guys and i'd show you uh pretty much what they drop now don't worry we're not going to go through the whole fight because i think you guys can figure it out uh the mechanics that they do are very very simple and easy to understand not really a whole lot that i need to tell you guys Anyway, yeah, uh, so all three of these guys can drop uh, about like 100 to 200 garrison resources. And so a uh, worst case scenario, you're probably going to get about 700. Best case scenario, you can get about 1,100. And so uh, 1,100 obviously is going to buy two of these different uh, equipment for your shipyard ships. And uh, that's like 10% more on a, on a potential mission. And so the first guy that I kill... Got it. Was 154, and that's how many I started out with. Uh, 6,443, I think, something like that. And uh, you also get like seven coal. How about that? But um, on top of that, as I said, you can also get the uh, the toys. Now this guy, he remember what I was talking about? He's the cock in the ass. And so you don't really want to watch out, or you, you do want to watch out for him. And you don't want to let him kill you because he does a lot, a lot of damage. But again, you know, these are real easy to kill and you don't have to kill all of them. But each one, so you can kill each one of these guys every single day, right? And so it's very, very easy to do. And especially if you have a group, like I was doing this with my friend yesterday. And I mean, like we got these things done, no problem. I mean, like not like it's a problem doing them solo, but you know, two people, should have really no problem doing this the second place the second three rears uh, are also in high mall now i've showed you guys this spot before and so that's why i'm not really going to spend too much time these are the real dumb ogres that don't really know what the fuck is going on and like i as i said like guys i want to just like kind of show you guys real quick where they where they are and I actually learned that that was actually what happened. Is that we literally went into High Mall, killed all the smart ones, and we got the idiots roaming around in the rubble. Now, I think that that's kind of funny. But at the same time, it doesn't even matter because they dropped garrison resources and we're going to finish the job right now with Guck. Okay? And so anyway, um, these uh, these can be a little bit more difficult to kill, especially if you're like a, uh, you know, like a caster or something like that, because they do pretty much unavoidable damage. You can't really kite them around because they're doing casts. And they've also got those guys in the uh, doorway, and so it can be a pain in the ass too. Also get those pets. Showed you guys that before. Pets kind of sell well. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But, uh, you know, either way, whatever. And, um, you know, like mainly, mainly, I think like what most people would be here for are the garrison resources, uh, since that's probably what the video title is going to be. You also get the power to Pexus fragments, not really too big of a deal either. And the last guy, Pug, and um, he's dead as you can see. And uh, it was 116, I can't really quite read. And so as you guys can see, I, I got a, a lot of resources, almost a thousand just from that run, and I got very, very unlucky. And so you can kill these guys once every single day. They're just like the normal rares, and I would recommend killing them uh, as much as you can. There are a lot of groups that are going on for them uh, in the uh, pre-made group finder. So go ahead and check it out and get your extra thousand garrison resources. And even if you don't uh, want to do that, you can also spend them, uh, you know, for materials at the trading post. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got. Quick video. Hope to hope to help you guys. So that's uh, yeah, I said that before. That's pretty much all I got. Thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.